um, law school is like a besieged city, you know. It's uh, difficult to enter and difficult to get out. A besieged city? Uh, yes. Difficult to enter, difficult to get out? Yes. How? So those, those, those outside it want to enter. That's why they besiege the city. Those inside want to run away from those who are besieging. So it becomes difficult. You are inside, you can't get out. You are outside, you can't get it. That's how law school is. On a light hand, someone said it's like marriage. Difficult to enter, difficult to exit. So those who are in it want to exit. Those who are outside want to marry. Those who are married want to divorce. That's how it is. Law school is a besieged city. Difficult to enter. Those in it want to leave. Those outside want to enter. And it's difficult to enter and it's difficult to leave. I will explain. Now, in 2019, we started the advocacy. We met Honorable Haruna. We met the Legal Constitutional Affairs Committee. And it will interest you to know that when we met them, the current bar president, Tony Forsten, was speaking for general legal counsel, not as a lawyer. And when we met, he said, they are handling the thing already, so parliament should not look at it. Look, that was for those who were already in the law school. And those who were in the law school, when you fail a paper then, and you want a remarking, it costs you 3,000 Ghana cities. Is it an incentive or disincentive? You will not like to, if you fail four papers, and you have to go and look for 12,000 for remarking, would you like to do that? You can't do that. And then, we were writing 10 papers. If you fail more than two, you have to repeat and write all the 10 papers again. And there were instances where people had written uh, had uh, applied for remark, and the three papers that have applied for remark, they pass all. And there, and we have what is known as independent examination board. And the independent examination board is like Akai. The lecturers don't know them. The students don't know them. Nobody knows them. And yet they exist. Now, you were talking about the fact that 2020, there were more admissions. It was political because those behind us had already approached John Mahama his Excellency, and His Excellency made a promise that he will expand access to law school. So in order to deflate what he has promised, they decided to increase the number. And they increased the numbers and brought the gold and green track into law school. And after the election, they reverted to the default position. There are people who have the view that, look, let us open it now so that more people will enter and will have the exit points being a, a one common exam for all. So now I can tell you that when they do that, two years down the line, this argument we are having now will be the same argument that we have at the end to see that how will people leave the law school. So there are people currently in the law school who are there for five years. Because it is besieged, they are not able to leave. And there are people who have been writing for five, six years now. They cannot enter. I once visited Kenya School of Law, and I met Professor Lumumba. And he told me that that was the first time they were introducing entrance exam into Kenya School of Law. And they have a brochure and tells you the number of subjects that you need to study. And they tell you how many MCQs they will ask, where the MCQs will come from, how many essays you need to answer. And they tell you what you need to make to pass. If you have 20 over 40, you have passed. If you have 50 over 100, you've passed. That is certainty of examination and certainty of results. But we don't have that. What happened this year was that I, they have finished admitting. People have passed. They have so called. They so called passed. And somebody sits in his room and says that let us. We cannot admit all of them. So let us make it that if you don't get fifty in each set, then you have not passed. This was not made known to the student before the world exam. So now a very crude and old way of handling things in law school. Law school when we were writing exam, they will not release the uh, 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 question papers to you. After exams, you leave the question papers. I challenge them. And we were told that they have uh, uh, limited questions, so they want to recycle. Then uh, Justice Tatukuba was the chairman of uh, IEB, the Independent Examination Board. I explained to him that, and he got angry. So after one of the papers, he said, no, he argued with them. He said, leave the papers. The students have paid. Leave it for them. Can you believe that? I will tell you another. Those who are inside, there was a student, a colleague of mine, his name came on the notice board as having passed. He informed everybody, I'll be called to the bar. Two weeks to the call to the bar, when we were asked to come for our accounts, not accounts, we come for our documents to, to fill and for pictures to be taken for the brochure. 
he went and he was told that we made a mistake. Actually, you didn't pass. Can you believe what, what happened? How is he going to tell his people? He has grieved that he should go back and debrief everybody. And he went on to beg them that if that is the situation, right, let me alone just write exam one day and you mark it that day or the following day. If I don't pass, I know I have not passed. They won't do it. And this is no fault of the student. So you would have thought you would have thought that if you have made such a mistake, you find a way of appeasing the student. No, it doesn't happen. Now, there is this in law that you cannot oust the jurisdiction of the court. You see, the courts are very jealous. You cannot make a law to say that nobody can go to court. One, it's a constitutional provision that we must all have access to the court, access to justice delivery. It's a constitutional right that we must all enjoy. Yet, before you take an examination to Ghana School of Law, you need to you need to write you need to sign away that your rights. That no matter the outcome, I am not going to challenge the results of Ghana School of Law entrance exam. No, that is bad. You are, say, you are saying that before you write an entrance exam with the yes. Ghana School of the Law, you have to sign, you have to agree to waive the right to seek a, a review of the decision exactly. of the Ghana School of the Law. Exactly. Are you not sure? Yeah, that, that's that's how I speak because uh, you are signing a waiver. Yes. So so even the the, the 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 people who are supposed to hold the law are trying to say this type of thing to us. People who are trying who are supposed to to to, to be the citadel, the knowledge, the epoch, the highest point of knowing the law and having the law to protect all of us, are asking you to do that. So where, where, wherein lies the thing that you are being taught? And until recently, you are taught in the law school to be like a roasted corn, to squeeze, not to be like popcorn, to squeeze, so you don't make noise. So until recently, nobody makes noise. If you make noise, you'll never be called to the bar. So if you are to sign away such a right, and you go in and you realize that, look, I should have gotten 100%, and they give you 20. There is no way you can challenge them because you are signed in your heart of hearts. You tell yourself, I have signed away that right. And recently, some people challenge them. And you see, I, I blame generations of attorney general. If you reach the Legal Profession Act, Section 15, it talks about the fact that in the execution of their duties, the attorney, the minister, who is the attorney general shall give direction to the TLC and they shall comply. I don't think any attorney general gives them any direction. The, the Legal Profession Act, like one of our laws, came in in the 60s. It's old. It is no more fit for purpose today. So it has to be amended. It has to be changed. That is one. It has to be changed. Then I pray that when NDC gets power, and the attorney general must make conscious effort that we must have a change in the way legal education is. GLC, which is the General Legal Council, is chaired by the Chief Justice. It has three of the most superior justices of the Supreme Court on it. It has retired judges on it. Now, how are you going to take such a group to court? We don't have the type of justice. We can Hello, la. Justice Bergen was, that's what he said. Justice must be done. Do you think our current composition of the justices will be willing to uh, uh, take any case where the General Legal Council is in? Somebody sued the Chief Justice in relation to the General Legal Council. Almost two years now, the bailiffs were not able to take the process to myself on the Chief Justice. How are we going to move? So fundamentally, there is so much wrong with the law school. And I want to tell you, when we were doing our uh, advocacy for law school, we met a lot of the justices. We met those on the GLC, those who are not on the GLC. Now, another problem which the General Legal Council has, or the Ghana School of Law has, is that the registrar is always a lawyer. Senna, you don't have to be a medical doctor to be the registrar of medical school. You don't have to be an engineer to be the registrar of an engineering school. But they always choose a registrar who is a lawyer, such that the seniority, less a master, will come in. And they will be able to threaten the person. The person has to control to what they want to do. 
that if we have an administrator, a very strong administrator, who can say, hey, 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 this is not how it is done, there will be reforms in general the uh, uh, Ghana School of Law. Then, of course, we need educationists, people who have done education. Anybody who is teaching at Ghana School of Law must also do a bit of education. So, you see, then when it comes to answering of questions, then they tell you it's a matter of style. It's a matter of style and people are failing. We also don't have a, a in-house where we have a, a, a situation where all of them will go at one stage, go and lodge in a hotel, mark the papers. When you have an issue, you ask your colleague, it is sorted. No, everybody takes it to their various places to mark. So you will see that there's something that somebody will say, no, this is not correct. Look, a, a judge was teaching me justice probably, and he said that one of the essays, he heard the word, a lot of people use the word comorientes, comorientes, comorientes. So he came to class and said, what at all is comorient? That is a retired Supreme Court judge. Then somebody explained, he said, he has never come across it. But if they were having a, a in-house or a residential marking, where all uh, 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 markets are in the same place, and somebody says, what is this Comoriente? Somebody would have raised his hand to say, oh, Comoriente is this. So you see that entrance into the law school to mark in is also another problem. So law school reform doesn't just mean admit, admit, or help. Even if we admit, admit, if we open the barrier now, the exit point, the barrier is closed, and more people will fail. And that one, there will be catastrophe. So now, do you know why there will be catastrophe? Because by then, the people have learned procedure in law. So they can become a half big uh, lawyers. For example, the, already we don't have situation like that. People are addressing in courts. They are being caught as lawyers because they have errors. But this is why the person has gone through it. Look, I'm going to stay in a village somewhere. I'll be the only village lawyer there. I'll be taking somebody's license number and I'll be signing the documents and be going on. Nobody will check. Then we'll have a lot of quack, if I'll use that word, lawyers all around. So there is also a risk of opening the barrier here and closing the barrier at the end. That is another issue I would like to raise. I'll take more of your questions, Senator. That's interesting. So you're saying, even if we admit all of them, passing and getting out is another issue. That's one that point so. that we need to address too. That is so. That's why I'm telling you it's difficult to enter. Those in it want to get out. Those outside want to get in. And those inside cannot get out. 